I've been looking all over the internet and found out no one has the record for the longest distance in a split, so I'm going to be the first. That wasn't even the start of all the things I'm doing to train for this today. By the end of the video, I'm going to attempt to split around this huge track more than anyone in the world has done before. I don't know if this is possible. First, we need to see my starting point. The one lap timer officially starts now. My goal by the end of this video is to split further than anyone in the world is able to beat. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to push myself further than I ever have before. This track is huge. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish one lap. Already getting hurt on my wrist. And this track is so rough, it's going to destroy my sneakers. I know I can finish this though. I thought I was able to slide in the splits as fast as I could walk, but I was wrong. It was taking so long to just do one lap around the track. I was thinking I would do multiple laps of this track. Looks like I'm going to need a lot of training in order to go faster next time. This might take more training than I thought. And I'm definitely going to need to go faster if I want to be the best in the world at this. I'm going to be attempting paddle boarding, climbing stairs, and much more all in a split. I'm even going to be having a sleepover with one of the most flexible people I know. And we're going to spend the entire night in the split. I'm over halfway through the track now, but I feel like it's taking me forever. I've done a long time in the splits before, but never going this far on a track like this. Look at my hand. I think I need a little break. You know what, I can see the finish point for the lap right over there, so let's just get this done. Now I can see why no one's tried to get a record for this. It is pretty difficult. Only a little bit further to go. I actually can't wait to see if I can go further and faster once I've trained some more. I really wonder what my time is. I feel like that took a long time. I guess my time for one lap was 25 minutes. I was hoping I could go a lot faster than that, so it's time to start training. In order to move faster in the splits, I need to work on my upper body strength, so I'm gonna try paddle boarding while in the splits. This water is actually freezing. I really hope I don't fall in the water. Oh wait, it's getting windy. Do you guys think I'm gonna fall in? I really hope I don't. Paddle boarding in the splits was surprisingly way easier than sliding in them. This is actually so much fun. Paddle boarding in the splits is way more fun than paddle boarding on. Maybe I should come do this more often. That was fun, but I'm going to need to do a lot more training to set an unbeaten world record. Let's move on to something a lot harder. I have to go all the way to that pier in the splits. I guess let's just get going. This might take a while. Sliding in the splits normally is way too boring, so I need to make this a little more challenging. We've gone so far, and I'm not making this very easy for myself. There's a swing set right over there. I think I need a little break. I think I'm just gonna relax here and take a little break on the swings. I hope I can make it all the way there. We made to the pier so I can finally get out of my splits. And now it's time for our next day of training. For today's training, I created a full workout in the splits. First up, split push-ups. I really hope today's workout helps because I want to be able to set a record that no one can beat. There is absolutely no training routines online for sliding in the splits, so I came up with these exercises on my own. Next up, stretch and circles. I just made this up right now, but it's actually kind of fun. <gasps> Maybe that was a bad idea. The last exercise is wall split sit-ups. I'm going to do 10 rounds of this workout and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for my next day of training. I really hope I've improved by the end of all this. I'm honestly a little bit sore from yesterday's training, but I'm determined to do the world's longest distance in the split. Now I'm going to try to make it up this entire staircase. I did not think this through. I chose a wooden staircase to go up, so I have to be careful. This makes it even harder to slide. These stairs are actually way more difficult than I thought, and I still have over halfway to go. This is a way taller staircase than normal, so as I was climbing it, I got so tired and started to lose motivation for this entire challenge. I needed to find a way to find some motivation fast, and what a better way to do that than seeing yourself accomplish something similar in the past. I know I've done stairs in the splits before, and I've held the splits way longer than this. Let's go back and watch my first time ever attempting 24 hours in the splits. As you just saw, I started last night. I feel like this is going to be a very hard challenge. So I asked you guys on my community tab what my consequence should be if I don't make it through. I have to brush my teeth with hot sauce. That sounds absolutely disgusting, so I'm really going to try to finish this challenge. One of the first things I do in my morning routine is make breakfast, so I had to try to get out of my bed in the splits and go all the way to the kitchen. I quickly realized everything was going to take so much longer in the splits, and there was a lot of things in the kitchen I could not reach. When are you making a smoothie bowl? I was able to make one of my favorite breakfasts in the splits, but the day is just getting started. Even the most simple tasks like bringing my bowl to the dishwasher took at least 10 minutes to complete because not only did I have to slide to do the task in the splits, but I was also sliding around the house to move around my camera so I could show you everything I was doing all day while staying in the splits. After a long time of having breakfast, I decided to get ready for the day. Since I was in the splits, after doing my hair and makeup, I was planning on just relaxing the rest of the day until the doorbell rang. I was really curious who or what was at the door, but in order to get to it, I had to go down the stairs. Going down 
down the stairs is fairly easy, but the thing is, once you get down, you have to go back up, especially in this house, because my bedroom and the kitchen are both upstairs, so if I were to stay downstairs, there would be no food or water I could reach in the splits all day. I was also really curious to see what was inside the packages that came to the door, so once we get up these stairs, let's open them and see. I figured out when I pull myself up with the railing, I can move up a lot faster. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that again while training on the even bigger staircase. We'll see if I can complete that one so soon. The bottom one is like a complete mystery because I can't even tell who it's from. Alani New sent me their Fit Snacks gummy bears. See what they taste like. I wasn't really sure what to expect with these, but they are so good. Time for the mystery box. I am very excited about this. So the package is from Verse. Thank you so much. I saw a couple of these said that I should react to fan edit. I love the filter she put on this one. It is getting extremely hotter here. So I think I'm just going to watch one more edit and then I might go in the pool to cool down a bit. I love the intro with the glitches and my YouTube video showing. I love watching every single one of your edits, but now it's time to try to get in the pool while staying in the splits. I better not fall in here because I really don't want to brush my teeth hot sauce. I'm so hot though. I need to get in the pool. This is hard. This is definitely my riskiest task of the day so far because if I fall in the water, okay, I'm getting there. It's not going to be easy to stay in the split. I'm almost in. I made it in and I'm still in the split. I don't want to get my hair wet because I just curled it. This is a smaller floaty than I'm on right now. So I think I'm going to switch over onto this one because I'm barely getting wet on this floaty. I can't believe that just happened. I do not want to brush my teeth with hot sauce. That is going to be horrible. Thought I was for sure just going to go over so smoothly. <laughs> At least I'm cooled down now, but I've also just ruined my hair that I just curled. I don't know if you can see this, but it's on there. Here we go. I was so close, but I guess I couldn't make it through. I actually failed that challenge, so that did not motivate me much at all. Let's see if I can complete 24 hours in the splits on my second attempt, and I'm also still hoping I can make it up the staircase. I just got into the splits, so the 24 hours officially starts now. If I don't complete the 24 hours this time, I have to do a consequence decided by you guys. To start my second attempt, I made a smoothie for breakfast. Even though I wasn't able to complete the challenge last time I did 24 hours in the splits, I'm still going to make it even harder this time by going out and doing the splits in public. Hopefully this time I can complete the 24 hours because I really need some motivation to finish that huge staircase. I'm going to go out this morning to get a new pair of white sneakers because mine have gotten so old and dirty. I'm meeting up with a friend when I go to get the sneakers and they have no idea I'm spending the day in the splits. Hopefully they don't mind me sliding around with them instead of walking normally. Before we go, I want to get ready by doing my makeup. Luckily my makeup wasn't too high up so I was able to reach it in the splits. I just did my usual routine for days that I just like wearing a little bit of makeup so I put on powder, mascara, and some lip gloss. Time to go to the mall in the splits. I hope I can get in the car because it is not sliding distance. <laughs> at Nike and I was really surprised that no one there seemed to notice that I was in the splits. Well actually there was one person who noticed. You okay? It's the good what we're doing. <laughs> YouTube video. Oh, just shoot the video. Okay. Hey Anna, 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 can we do a stunt? I really can't follow the splits. If I get out of these, like I'll lose the whole challenge. We can do a stunt while you're in the split. If I fall, like that's really bad. I'll have to do a consequence. We'll okay. do it perfectly. You're okay. technically still in the split. Yes, this is still a split. And then it go right here, and then it go right here. Oh, this is cool. You're still in the split? Okay, then we bring it down. You're technically still in the split, so you have to come down. That was so cool. Come on, Anna, we gotta go. At this point, I am around halfway through the 24 hours, so I still have a lot more time to stay in the splits. It is starting to get a bit hard, but I'm really hoping I can do the splits for the rest of the day. As you can see, I just got a salad from Sweet Green, and it turned out so good. It comes down to all or nothing. This time is for real. After all this, I could not let myself fall over the splits like last time, so I decided to have a pretty chill night. I planned a routine for my other YouTube channel and McNulty Stretches that you can do if you want to get your splits. And then just came back inside and cleaned my entire place before heading to bed for the night. If I can stay in the splits for the whole night, that means I will complete the 24 hours. Okay, getting on this bed better not be what gets me out of the splits. This is going to be hard. Okay, I think I'm able to do it. Still in the split? Okay, I'm up and 
I am literally exhausted. We are getting so close to completing a full day in the splits, but we're not quite there yet. I need to be able to sleep the entire night without getting up the splits for it to be a full 24 hours. Do you think I can do it? It is now the morning, which means a full 24 hours has been completed. Seeing myself do that gave me all the motivation I needed to finish climbing the stairs. We finally made it to the top of the staircase, and for my next day of training, I'm going to try to spend the entire night in the splits, and here's what's at stake. If I get up the splits tonight, I have to delete my YouTube channel. If you don't believe me, I give my YouTube password to my sister Grace, who will be deleting my channel in one month if I get up the splits tonight. To make this more fun, let's go to a sleepover with one of the most flexible people I know, Sophie Dossi. I'm currently in the car, in the splits. Let's head to Sophie's. Hey, Sophie. Yeah? Wait, why are you in the splits? I know I said we're just having a sleepover, but I'm actually in the splits all day today. I can't stay in the splits all day. I have to delete my channel. Wait, what? I can't just like leave you hanging here. Do you want to do the splits with me? You yeah. do them all night. I'm down. How do you do this? You just slide. Yeah, you just have yeah. to like slide like this. I'm really feeling what a snail feels like. Throughout the night, we'll be competing in a series of challenges. Whoever wins gets to sleep on this comfortable air track. But whoever loses has to sleep up on these silks in the splits. Do you think you're gonna be able to get up on here in the splits? Might have to be a two person effort. <laughs> it's a good thing you're really flexible with the splits. <laughs> this one, oh. sorry. It's so funny how easy it looks. <laughs> Stop, look at that. I feel like if we just wrap it around. Yeah, that's good. Do the other foot. I can't believe this is your first time doing this. I know. I've never hooked someone's like legs this low to the ground. Whoever loses this is gonna be staying up all night because we'll have to sleep like this. First challenge is dodge the block. So we have to make it all the way over the trampoline. This is like difficult. We're gonna have to make it up that. You think we can do it? I don't know. I didn't think this challenge through. Oh, uh, let's try. I'll go first. I'm still in a split and I made it up. I can also okay. help you because I'm up here now. You're almost there. Come on. I've actually never done anything like this before. Yes, you got it. This still counts. Okay. We're going to throw the phone blocks at each other. Whoever can last the longest amount of time without getting hit wins. I feel like I got this. I've got really good aim. The timer starts now. Oh, oh, I guess I thought it was gonna last longer than that. Sophie was able to hit me really fast, so I'm pretty nervous, but I still have a chance to see if I can do it even quicker. It's hard to get through the foam pin in the first place, let alone in a split. I'm so not tired at all right now from just doing the splits. Hopefully I can hit Sophie quicker than 13 seconds. Timer starts now. Oh, oh, oh that was close. Oh, I hit you. 11 seconds. Well, looks like I got the first challenge by only two seconds. It's really hard to move in splits. I don't even know how I'm gonna get out of this foam pit. We gotta get out of here for the next challenge. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Can we make it down from here? Oh wait, you're doing it. Ooh. You just have to hold on to the back so you don't fall Okay, <laughs> I might go over to your side then. We don't want this to turn into leading my channel. I did it! Okay, I go. think this is it. There, I did there. it. That was a lot easier yeah. than getting up. Over here is our next challenge. Play these balls. We're playing Guess the YouTuber. Oh. We're going to pick YouTubers from this jar and give a hint by saying something about them. The first one of us who can't guess who the YouTuber is loses this round. Oh, this is kind of juicy. Who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoe. Yeah. Okay, you win. Ooh, I like this one. I'm totally going to get it right away. That's fine. Zadie. Oh, it's definitely Rebecca's mom. <laughs> it is. So easy, like no one else has a daughter named Zadie. I know, I feel like that was too easy of a hint. Really have no idea who is in here. Hopefully I know who it is. Stay wild. Oh, that is Laura. You got that's it right. so easy. I was like, you gave me an easy yeah. hint, I have to give you an easy hint. Oh, where's a mask? I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers that wear masks. Dream. The only it's reason dream. I got that because like I remember the face reveal. This YouTuber has a brother that owns a company called Prime. Jake Paul. <laughs> Yeah, the most obvious <laughs> hit ever. Yeah, give them a harder hit next time. They're twins. The Ridge oh. twins? Nope. The Stubbs oh. twins. I'm gonna try really hard on this next one because I don't want to sleep on the silk. That doesn't sound fun. Next up, hide and seek, and whoever gets found in the shortest amount of time loses the round. Okay, I'm ready for this one. Timer starts, I'm gonna hide first. Okay. 
I only have two minutes to find a hiding spot and I have no idea where I'm gonna go. This is a scary challenge because both me and Anna are really good at hiding in small places. It's a pretty open space, so there's not too many hiding spots that I can go in in the split. My strategy is to look in the smallest place here. Kind of like an opening here. That's definitely an option, but I'm gonna see if there's a better spot first. I also do know all the best hiding spots here. I've literally been in the split so long now. I don't know how much longer I'm able to do this, but I need to keep going. I don't want to delete my channel. I feel like I got one up on her on this one. This is also a good spot. Is this too obvious of a spot though? You have one minute left. Because I'm in the split, I don't really fit in this spot. My leg is sticking out. I'm gonna go to the original spot. Hopefully I can fit in here because Sophie's gonna start looking so soon. Okay, ready or not, Anna, here I come. This is actually the perfect spot. Let's check. This is so hard to move fast. She's coming. I feel like I'm getting a rug burn. <laughs> Anna. What gave it away was your foot. It's Sophie's turn to hide now. I really hope I can find her quicker than she found me. I know this place better than anyone. She found me pretty quick, so I'm pretty nervous. I think this is a really good spot. I really have no idea where Sophie could be, but I better get going. Try to find me now, Anna. I'm on a time crunch to find her. I feel like she's not gonna think to look in this room. I know she's in this direction somewhere. So. And it's kind of really hard to slide in the splits from all the way over there to over here. Maybe she's behind the air track. I feel like that would be a good spot. I don't know if she's gonna find me. That's like the only spot she could be over here. So that must be where she is. She hasn't gone close to this room yet. You know one thing with this challenge though, it actually kind of gets easier the longer you do it. Like it doesn't really feel like I'm in the splits right now. She's kind of annoying to be sliding, but the splits part isn't really that bad. Sophie, I bet you're around here. I really thought that's where she was gonna be. Better keep looking. There's a door open over there. I don't think that was open before, so let's go see if that's where Sophie is. I feel like I'm running out of time. Let's move as quick as we can in the splits. She has to be in here. I know that door wasn't open before. Sophie! <laughs> that is actually a smart hiding spot. Let's go check the time to see who won that challenge. We checked the timer, and Sophie, it took you a minute and 46 seconds, <gasps> which is pretty quick. It took me two minutes and 34 seconds to find you, so you got the point. I won! won. We're actually doing a TikTok challenge next. Instagram's gonna decide whose TikTok idea they like the best. Oh no, I haven't thought about something. Well, you have all the time it takes to do mine to think <laughs> Okay. I decided to do a POV TikTok. All we're gonna do is pretend we're sleeping in the split, so that's my idea. Okay, yeah. Go here, right to the comfortable spot that hopefully I'm gonna be staying the night. More like me. And that's the TikTok. Did you used to sleep like this? I have before. Do you have your idea? I do have my idea. Sophie decided to do a contortion version of a completely different trend. We're contortionists. People think we don't have a spot. We're contortionists. Obviously, we sleep in the split. So it's hard to know which one Instagram is going to pick. First, let's do our last challenge, a blindfolded makeup challenge. Ooh. Let's go. Let's do it. Whichever one of us can do the best lipstick in 15 seconds wins this round. 15 seconds starts now. Oh, in the right spot. Uh, yeah, actually, but you're getting kind of low. Oh, is it up here? I'm gonna go with mm -hmm. seven seconds. You're like going on my teeth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know where I'm going. I feel like I'm done. Like, I want to do a good lipstick job, and it doesn't take that long to put on lipstick. That's not horrible. That's not bad. I mean, I went out of the line a little bit, but, like, it could be worse. Anna didn't do that bad on me, but I think I'm going to go a little crazy because I don't want her to lose her channel. Yeah, that's all. I think it's kind of all over my chin. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's see how this works. <laughs> it's all over my teeth. It's just everywhere. Yeah. Well, I was I won this round, do you agree? <laughs> I definitely agree on that. Instagram <laughs> has decided they like the splits TikTok. Honestly, it's probably for the best. Looks like this is my spot for today. At least Anna didn't lose her YouTube channel. It's finally time to try this again. I really hope all my training paid off and I'm able to complete the lap faster than I did last time. Let's go. I need to be able to do the entire track in less than 25 minutes to beat my last time. Let's see if all the training paid off. The track is actually really hot this time because it's so sunny out today. So I'm trying to go really fast. I would say out of all the training I did, my favorite was definitely the paddle boarding, but I also think that one was the least effective. I don't think I got much benefit from doing that, but it was really fun. The stairs were probably the most effective because that was even more difficult than this try. This doesn't seem that bad right now. Besides that, I'm getting so hot. At this point, my hands are burning hot from the heat of the track, but I did not train this hard to give up. We have to make it through the lap to see if I improve. I think the heat is helping with my speed a bit. I also took a break last time, so I feel like if I don't do that this time, I'll be able to speed up my time. 
We're getting close now. I can see where we started. I have no idea how long this is taking me, but I feel like I'm going faster than the last time. I guess we won't know until I get there. My phone with the timer is literally right here. We're so close to finishing. 16 minutes. I cannot believe the difference. I feel like since I was able to go that much faster, with even more training, we could go even further. Subscribe if you want to see me attempt to officially get the record for the world's furthest split.